me that green light Give me that green light name Give me that green light Give me that green light name Give me that green light Give me that green light name Give me that green light Give me that green light name Good evening. Welcome to Greenlight, Maine. I'm your host, Julene Gervais. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This is turning out to be a very exciting season. Our judges had the challenge of narrowing down the field of contestants, and we now have 13 finalists lined up for the $100,000 cash prize. And we thank you at home and appreciate your feedback. It helps the judges make tough decisions with each round of competition showcasing experienced entrepreneurs building their businesses, and growing Maine's economy. Tonight's entrepreneur is no different. Joining us now in the studio is Joel Costonis from Advanced Concepts and Engineering, and we also have a panel of mentors who are experienced from around the Maine business community, which we're going to talk to in a couple minutes. But first, I want to congratulate you on making it to the next round. Thank you. And what's been going on with you the last two months? It's super exciting. Uh, we're pretty well maxed out on production. We've got a waiting list. We have uh, product shipping, and it's been a, a, a neat and humbling experience. Awesome. I remember you did a really nice job on your pitch, and we're going to take a look at it now for the sake of the mentors who might not have seen it yet, or maybe you at home who might have missed it. Let's take a look. In the construction industry, as, as you likely know, there's the quality control process, there's the demand process, and the cycle and production process. These processes are typically antiquated by rate of the availability of equipment that's available to them. When you're producing a product in the aggregate industry, all of the processes are manual, hands-on, time-consuming, and labor-intensive. When you're producing, when you have that problem and you're producing a product at a rate of 600 ton an hour, 700 ton an hour, or even 2,000 tons an hour, we need to expedite the process upon which we're getting the result done. Advanced Concepts and Engineering rose to that challenge to develop an equip piece of equipment that's fully automated, fully hands-off, you're never handling a live sample, that gets the test done with 100% repeatability every single time and putting the data real-time available on a cloud-based network. This piece of equipment here brings automation to the full level Welcome, Joel. Are you ready to test? Where this equipment will conduct the same test every single time with 100% repeatability. This particular unit is designed to do a gradation. When you drive a freshly paved road, for example, and there's ruts running with the road, there's only a couple reasons for that. The primary culprit is typically a failed gradation. What a gradation is, is it's a composition blend by volume of the size pieces of material that are put together. What does that mean? If you have a bowl of marbles, you can put your finger right through it with no question because there's no structure. If you add Legos, if you add broken pieces of wood or whatnot, you build a structure. The gradation determines exactly what that structure is supposed to be. When you get a job from Department of Transportation or whoever issues the job, there's a specification. In that specification, that gradation is defined. This is a test that is done nine times through the construction process. It's not done once. They'll do it at the mine. They'll do it at the hot mix plant or the ready mix plant. They'll do it on the road when they lay it down. They'll do a deconstruction testing in asphalt. Concrete, once it's there, it's there, you own it. You know, in asphalt, you'll do a post burn gradation. Why? Because the entire production process can change it. This piece of equipment takes a process that's typically done with 14 to 17 individual steps and does it with one step, one sample handled one time. And you know, the, the looking at the industry in its totality, there's 207,000 companies available. Every one of them can use the Ace Auto Bay. So there's nothing else like this out there? No, ma'am. We are a, a first mover in the industry. Uh, the, like I said, the industry left a hole open, and we're happy to fill it. Awesome. Forward to it. Good for you guys. and we're. A Looking forward to hearing what your challenge to growth is in a little bit. But first, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our mentors by first name only, only because a good idea can come from anybody in any field of expertise. And we're going to hear what the, how they can be a resource later on in the show. So first, I'd like to welcome Jason. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm, congratulations. And I look forward to hearing more and learning more about what your current challenges are. Fantastic. And next, we have RVs. I love saying your name. Thank you. Very excited to be here and also looking forward to hearing more about your company and its challenges and 
exciting opportunities you have. Great, thank you. And finally, our last mentor is Chip. Welcome. Thank you, it's good to be here, and it's very exciting to hear a main company being on the cutting edge of their industry. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna see how advanced concepts and engineering can move their company to the next level. So we'll be right back. Greenlight Maine would like to thank the Maine Department of Economic and Community Development, the Maine DECD, helping businesses and communities prosper. You give gift cards, you get gift cards, but how do you make them matter more? With Bowie Local, this gift card makes it easy to support local businesses and gives those you care about a local choice. So cool. The Bowie Local card can be used at participating local businesses throughout Maine. That's right. You can now give the gift of local. Bowie Local gift cards keep Maine communities thriving. Support local. Give local. Give the gift card of Maine at BowieLocal.com. Are you trying to increase sales? At Dream Local Digital, we've been helping businesses using Facebook, Google, and other online tools for over eight years. We're experts at helping small businesses because we work with them nationwide. Dream Local publicizes the important part of me and what I stand for and what Archers is about. We'd love to help you grow your business as well. Give us a call today. For almost 25 years, Maine Biz has been providing business news, information, and analysis for business owners and C-level executives in Maine, from Fort Kent to Kittery. Maine Biz serves the decision makers of Maine across multiple channels, including its flagship print digital publication, website, events, daily report, real estate insider, and weekly newsletter. Let Maine Biz help your business succeed. Inform. Engage. Connect. Please join us to find vital information on our website at greenlightmain.com and be a part of our vibrant community on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Together, we're building Maine's future, one dream at a time. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. We are having a mentoring round with one of our finalists, Joel from Advanced Concepts and Engineering. What would you like to talk about today as far as your um, challenge to growth? I think the biggest challenge to growth involves a combination of uh, engineering automation, if you will, where uh, the technology, you know, we're kind of hindered a little bit here in Maine. You know, it's not readily accessible and we're trying to keep as much here in the state as we can. And uh, I think to date we've all but maybe one or two of our vendors is here in the state, which we're quite proud of. But that managing that flow of technology and engineering and process uh, can be time consuming. And of course, time consuming equals money, equals overhead, equals budgets, so on and so forth. So the they technology behind the processes upon which we're working, because we have, a, we have a box to work within, and that box is the ASTM regulation. You don't want to go outside that box, then you change the regulation. We've done that. It's not an easy process. So the, having the automation be able to produce what it is that we're looking for and execute the way we need to execute while staying within the boundaries of spec, uh, you know, specification rules. That's okay. the biggest issue we're biggest running challenge. into. challenge. Yes, okay. ma'am. That's correct. Okay, let's kick this off with Jason with some clarifying questions. Sure. So when you talk about uh, the engineering automation that you're working on, is that uh, primarily oriented at how are you managing things into your process where you're doing things in your facility or is the is it an automation challenge within the manufacturing process after uh, raw materials are into uh, your facility it's it would be after i mean one when when it, you know for example uh, certain tests require human hands to do certain things to the to a to a sample right and, and one of the things that we pride the company on is we have I've trademarked this slogan called Total Integration, Total Automation Protocol. And basically what that means is 100% hands off. And the test, you, you know, you've got robotics and servos and, and communications and sensors and so on and so forth that, that everything needs to share the data. And the pool upon which we have to draw from, you know, locally is, is a little bit challenged. You know, and, and we've got some fabulous people 
um, you know, one of the best programmers in the state, I'm happy to say, works for the company, which is a great thing. But when you start talking and adding in robotics, um, sensory mechanics, visu visual, that's a hard resource to find, you know, people that understand that and have exposure to that and can fluidly work with it. Got it. You know. Absolutely, sure. Okay, RVs. So what is um, your, is there a training process, um, a period of time that the people have to go through uh, to learn your systems or the machine and then to turn around um, and then be able to use it into different companies and work it? So what's that kind of timeline look like? Uh, the, you're, you're operating our equipment? Right, and learning how to. Start. I'm happy to say that I, I could I could put you in front of that piece of equipment and in 15 minutes you could be running tests 100% repeatable by spec. My 12-year-old son can run this piece of equipment. And the way we did that is, well, I've got 20 years in this industry. And, and sometimes, you know, speaking specifically of the gradation, that's the most important test. There's a whole bunch of other tests that happen after that. But if the gradation fails, nothing else happens. And sometimes you have to have somebody who's not doing that test a lot do it. If you have a remote site, you know, and that test needs to be done, you've got to kind of trust who's ever doing it. So we've built the design of the software. Number one, it won't let you make a mistake. It won't let you test out of order. And it's just, just listen, I mean, the machine talks. I mean, you saw in the clip, the machine actually talks through the process. So the training process um, is, is probably a couple hours. You would not put, you are required by ASTM regulation to have a trained technician doing the test, but I could teach anybody to, to run that piece of equipment and logistically in probably 20, 30 minutes. Okay, Chip. There's only one of you, and you're in a very steep growth <laughs> phase now. <laughs> How have you done in developing a staff behind you that can handle every aspect that you're not looking at at the moment? I am happy to say that yeah. actually just a uh, week and a half, two weeks ago, I hired a chief operating officer because that is exactly the primary concern. I'm one person. I have a vice president of operations. I have a chief operating officer. I have an electrical manager and an automation guy. And what we've done to minimize our risk and our exposure and allow us to focus where we need to focus is your typical corporate triangle is executive management, middle management, and worker bees. What we've done is we've outsourced 90% of our production facilities and operations, and I'm happy to say those are all within, literally within walking distance of our office, which is fabulous. So we can focus on the things that we need to focus on, because I am one person, you know, and I am, I'm on an airplane no less than twice a week. And, and managing that and putting everybody in their highest and best use is what is gonna be a key to success of the company. So by op adding an offer, a chief operating officer, we're going to be adding a CFO probably sometime within the next 90 days because your CFO can make you money at the end of the day. Um, of course, we've got our legal counsel. We've got our bookkeeping and accounting people. And, and putting everybody in the proper sections of said triangle is what will make everybody's job a little easier and a little bit more effective. I was just curious, um, what's your growth been like the, these last few months? It's, uh, and, and I'm happy to say it's six inches short of beyond. Um, you know, we, we have a waiting list on products, you know, and, and we have customers that are, I never would have dreamed of engaging. Intertech is one of the largest engineering companies out there. They've got 4,500 locations around the planet, and they're a customer. Um, I, you know, the, it, it, the growth is... It's exciting. It's daunting. It's very humbling. You know that I, I keep coming back to that, and I, I, I can't help it. But I keep coming back to humbling. Um, and and you know the demand is intense. It's it's a very intense day every day at work. But it's a it's a positive intensity. Um, you know, it's like typical startup. You know, you're you're in. You know, you're that skipping stone is the analogy that I use. You know, you can have a great flight. And you know, well, you might get a short one. You might hit a bump in the water, but We've hit bumps in the water along the way, and we've had yet to go under, and uh, we're pretty proud of it. You know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, a lot of dedication. Without the people around me, 
this wouldn't work. Great. Well, this is a great point to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to hear from our mentors and they're going to give Joel some feedback on what to do next with his business. And we could also use your feedback from home. So go online and post. We'll be right back. Handmade carpets for Greenlight, Maine have been provided by Mugalian Rugs, area rugs from around the world. As a leader in Maine and New England in providing integrated accounting, consulting, and tax services to clients large and small, the team at MacPage has proven to provide innovative solutions to help us better meet our clients' needs. We enjoy the people we serve and care about the work we do. The success of our business is based upon our ability to develop quality relationships, one client at a time. MacPage. Accessible. Approachable. Accountable. You give gift cards, you get gift cards, but how do you make them matter more? The Bowie Local Card supports main businesses and gives those you care about a local choice. Support local, give local. Give the gift card of Maine at BowieLocal.com. In 1972, Tom Moser committed his life's work to craft and four decades later employs 70 fine craftsmen and women in our shop in Auburn, Maine. With showrooms and customers from coast to coast and numerous awards and accolades, Tom has firmly established himself as an entrepreneurial tour de force and has proven that a life doing what you love is indeed possible. This year's winner of Greenlight Maine will win this handmade Thomas Mosier Beacon Box and $100,000. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. We are having a mentoring session with Advanced Concepts and Engineering. And Joel, this is your time to really hear from our mentors because it's like they're your board and you guys are working as a team to push your business forward. So let's start with you, Jason. Great. Well, I mean, it sounds like uh, you've got some amazing things going on right now and, and some really exciting developments. It, uh, it, Developing the team, uh, both from the top and then you know from the kind of the, the bottom up, uh, mm -hmm. sounds like it's going to be real, uh, kind of going to be the pinch point as you think about how to develop that. Um, I think that there are some opportunities for you to really uh, engage with. Uh, some of the uh, higher education institutions, especially as you were talking about accessing people with robotics and sensing, uh, se uh, sensing uh, technology experience. So I think that there are some good opportunities to really think about that as your mm -hmm. workforce. Um, but I definitely think getting the CFO on board and, and uh, another top management team to make sure that you're managing that, you're not just bringing it all up from the bottom, it's going to be is going to be really critical uh, as you as you look at how to go out and deliver on the business side of the business instead of the technical side of the business. Right, right. Yeah. Ivy? Yes, that, that makes sense. And also, um, in speaking about that, uh, hiring interns and using that as well. So he's saying that um, when he's going to universities, thinking about different types of interns in different areas. I was also thinking about, um, for you, when you're talking about uh, needing uh, automation and really uh, production, but wanting to keep it in Maine and kind of mm -hmm. like, where do you go next? And so maybe working with the ASTM and um, Homeland Security or the DOT or different organizations that can maybe find other locations for you for the different processes within your production that you can keep here, um, different locations that you can ramp up the different pieces to it to add to the locations you already have. So that mm -hmm. way you can, um, branch out a little bit without going outside of Maine, but finding and working maybe with some of these companies um, with their auto, um, already with their factories or manufacturing processes, see if you can maybe join them um, with some of the aspects of your manufacturing and try to right, work with them. Right. Good point, partnerships are key. Okay, Chip. You'll be outsourcing a lot of the manufacture of your product, as I understand it, and so quality control is gonna be really important uh, to protect your brand. So, uh, it, and I know um, uh, if I were purchasing an expensive piece of equipment, I'd want to know the uh, uh, availability during the course of a year. Uh, and if things do need maintenance or breakdown, how long it takes to repair them and get them back online. So those are really key issues to be thinking about. Yes, sir. <clears throat> have, you, have you built out kind of the service contract side of the business? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So that, I mean, that sounds like exactly what you were saying. I mean, it becomes this great additional revenue stream that really offers these opportunities to bring in the, the business side of the business, bring the technicians out into the field 
and drive a new revenue stream, whether it's kind of a, a Xerox model where they lease the, the product or they buy the product and then you can offer a service contract. Do we, have, do we have a defined product maintenance plan? Is that, that's exactly right. what you're talking about. Right, and is that industry standard? It, depending on, upon pieces of equipment, yes. Got it, got it. I think this is a great time to reveal who our mentors are, and we save this for later on in the show because, as you can see, they are a valuable resource to our finalists. And so, Jason, why don't you tell us what you do? Uh, so, uh, my name is Jason Arkins. I'm an associate professor of entrepreneurship at the University of Maine, and uh, I also run a, uh, an accelerator called Scratchpad for female founders and own a co working space here in Bangkok. So, very cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Arvis O'Toole. I'm an adjunct professor um, at Hassan University. And I'm also a consultant, um, strategic management consultant for Executive Coaching Systems Incorporated mm -hmm. uh, that looks at companies' uh, business processes and fine tunes them. And I'm Chip Bessie. I'm a licensed forester. And we manage timberland for our family and for private clients uh, with a focus on sustainability. We market forest products from logging operations. And we have a company that focuses on high-end hardwood lumber and flooring. Very cool. So a great group of people with a lot of expertise in business that you're going to have plenty of time to talk to them later. So. Perfect. But I'd like to say that even if you don't win the $100,000 prize, everybody who comes on the show, all the entrepreneurs and um, companies are winners because there's so many resources and some of them have also had uh, private investors. So we're going to take a look back at one of our contestants right now with Marty's Minutes. Marty's Minutes brought to you by the Maine Venture Fund and Maine Technology Institute. Hi, I'm Marty Groman here with Greenlight Maine, visiting with Tyler Frank, CEO of Garbage the Garden in Portland. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? Doing great, Marty. Good to see you. Good. So tell us what's uh, been going on since you won $100,000 on Greenlight Maine. Well, after winning $100,000 on Greenlight Maine, we were able to add some uh, new equipment, you know, which really made us more efficient in a couple of different ways. Um, we've been growing. We're growing. We're hiring. Um, hiring drivers now. We've added uh, health benefits. Uh, we've uh, expanded our events business. That's about doubled. And uh, our commercial work is growing quickly. Uh, we are doing a, we're working directly with municipalities. We're doing a pilot for South Portland and we're picking up at uh, transfer stations for other towns that are more rural. So if you could go back to when you started Garbage the Garden with just you and your old pickup truck, yeah. what would you tell yourself? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know what I'd tell myself. I would be amazed at... Hang on. Yeah, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, I, actually, I think if I knew how difficult it was going to be at the time, I, I'm not sure that I would have gone down the road. It's been, uh, you know, very challenging. But, you know, when it's the when things are really tough, or I had to cover a route and do the other job, and I'm out till eight o'clock at night, you know, you go home feeling like you know we're really making a difference. Every day that goes by, it's another 20 plus tons of food waste out of the waste stream and into the compost pile. And uh, yeah, I mean, right at this point, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, congratulations, Tyler. We're so proud of you. I mean, everything you've done to grow and all the accomplishments of this business is really remarkable. All right, the Greenlight Maine high five, man. Furniture for Greenlight Maine is provided by Thomas Mosier Furniture, handmade American furniture since 1972. Are you trying to increase sales? At Dream Local Digital, we've been helping businesses using Facebook, Google, and other online tools for over eight years. We're experts at helping small businesses because we work with them nationwide. At Horch Roofing, we pride ourselves on doing quality roofs, not social media and direct marketing. That's why we hire the professionals at Dream Local. We'd love to help you grow your business as well. Give us a call today. Thomas College believes in innovation. From the Harold Alfond Institute for Business Innovation and our Center for Innovation and Education to three-year undergraduate degrees and accelerated graduate programs in business, cybersecurity, and criminology, innovation is in our DNA. Money Magazine ranks Thomas 23rd in the nation for value, and our Guaranteed Job Program backs that up. Thomas College, personal, practical, guaranteed. Thomas College is a proud sponsor of Greenlight Maine. You give gift cards, you get gift cards. But how do you make them matter more? 
with Bowie Local. This gift card makes it easy to support local businesses and gives those you care about a local choice. So cool. The Bowie Local card can be used at participating local businesses throughout Maine. That's right. You can now give the gift of local. Bowie Local gift cards keep Maine communities thriving. Support local. Give local. Give the gift card of Maine at BowieLocal.com. Broadcast facilities provided by Nescom, the New England School of Communications at Hudson University. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. We're having a mentoring round with advanced concepts and engineering, and we're getting final thoughts. But before, you were telling us that you just got some really great news for your business. Yeah, we have uh, $8 million in equipment to deliver by the end of April. Wow. Uh, it's a pretty monumental task, but we'll get it done. Excellent. Well, congrats on that. Thank so you. final thoughts, Jason. Yeah, I mean, uh, based on everything that we're hearing from you, uh, it sounds like all of the right pieces are in place and, and the future is really bright. And, and I think that the key, as you are well aware, is just in executing all the time, every day on all the pieces, right? And so it's having the right people in place, but it's also, you know, making sure that you keep your eye on the prize every yeah. day as you, as you drive that forward. So that's great. I think it's awesome what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's very exciting. Um, I think also the partnerships are going to be very, very key and maybe doing um, with the partnerships a social media type of campaign so that you can really get out there everything that you're doing because it's so exciting and it's very extremely useful and needed and so other people can hear about what's happening and you can also find more of a workforce and build that up through social media. Excellent. YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. That's all about That's YouTube fact. videos. Yeah. Okay, final thoughts. Well, it's a, a very smart organization. I'm really happy with this conversation. You've, you've covered all the bases. It's exciting to have you in Maine. I'm proud of Maine for having you, well, and I uh, wish you the very best. Thank you much. It, it's it's all about the people. You know, my my father told me when I was a kid, you're only as good as those you surround yourself with, and that's the truest statement in the world. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Great thought and happy to have you in the state of Maine doing business and growing your business as well. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, key takeaways from today? Keep on pushing. You know, it, it's we're, we're a first mover and, and, you know, like if you think about that aircraft right before it punches through the sound barrier, it's got to work the hardest right there. And, and being that we're a first mover and surrounding ourselves with, you know, with effectively people like you. And, you know, the, the team that we have now and, and the input, every little piece of input that comes in, you know, it gets, you know, I'll, I'll keep it and I'll refer back to it and say, oh, you know, Jason said, you know, and I keep it in my brain and go with it and, and use it as a planning tool, as a benchmark. Because if you don't have benchmarks, you, you'll lose track of your focus and we're not losing track of our focus. Good. Well, good luck to you in the next you. round and we'll look forward to watching your rise to the top. So, I appreciate great it. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate and thank you for your feedback. And if you haven't yet, please visit us on the web at greenlightmain.com and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you right back here next week for more Greenlight Main. Have a great night. Greenlight Maine has been brought to you by Bangor Savings Bank. You matter more. Greenlight Maine would not be possible without the support of all of our corporate sponsors. Thank you. Greenlight Maine has been a paid-for presentation by the Portland Media Group.